Police officers are learning how to secure and process a crime scene. It's one of the many topics cadets at the North Mississippi Law Enforcement Training Center are studying during their 12 week training. Yeah, Allie Martin takes us behind the crime scene tape. Because what's the idea again? Make it what? Big. Big. For this class, Officer Rachel Carver, a training officer with the Oxford Police Department, has set up a mock crime scene. Cadets are responding to the call and they must work together to secure the area. In the class, I teach them the basic steps of how to start processing a scene. As first responding officers on scene, they're going to be the first ones to come into contact with a scene. Uh, and it's extremely important that we preserve that scene so they are the ones that are learning how to set up boundaries, how to protect it. They do that by marking off the area with the yellow crime scene tape. Often it's a large area that is secured. We want to basically freeze the scene. We want to be able to block everything out and protect it so we get a clear, uh, accurate picture of what happened. Yeah. Once the scene is secured, nice. cadets search inside the tape the using different screen. search patterns. They place flags near That's each potential be. piece of evidence, shell casings, a gun, and even a receipt from a store. Everything cadets are taught at the Basic Academy is important, but crime scene processing is crucial. If evidence is missed, is collected improperly, or the crime scene gets contaminated, the entire case could be thrown out. It's extremely important to have that integrity with regards to evidence and to maintain and preserve a crime scene. Classroom time also focuses on the importance of sketching a crime scene. We started up here at the door. We came over a little bit, here's the corner. Cadets in Class B70 say it's a lot to take in, and it's nothing like popular TV police dramas. So far I learned that we have to make sure we stay on the outside boundaries of what's going on inside these boundaries, make sure we don't cross-contaminate, uh, let others cross-contaminate, try to be as far away as possible, that way we can take our time, process everything, get all the facts that we need so we can get as much information as possible. It's a very long lengthy process. Um, like I said prior to this, I, w I would think it would take, you know, 10 to 15 minutes, but it, you know, it could take days to, to process a crime scene. So yes, sir, there's a lot more to it. Cadets in class B70 are now past the halfway point in their training. In Tupelo, Ali Martin, WCBI News. Class B70 will graduate July 1st.